When you hear people talk about healthcare in America, there's one country that always seems to be part of the conversation. It's a single payer healthcare system, kinda like a Medicare for all plan that was pushed by one side of the political arena. Canada's healthcare system is playing a larger role in America's political discourse. Every election cycle, progressives on the left love pointing to Canada as an equitable and efficient healthcare system. Conservatives, on the other hand, use Canada as an example when warning about the dangers of socialized medicine and unchecked bureaucracy. So how different really is Canada healthcare system from what's going on in the United States? To shed more light to this issue, I'm sitting down with Yazi and her husband Omar to learn more about the actual experiences when dealing with healthcare in Canada. It's commonly known that healthcare is free in Canada. Uh, so I want to talk to them about the experience here with the healthcare system. So let's continue the conversation. So if you go to the emergency room, what is your experience there? So I'm going to tell you um, the cons of Montreal. Okay. okay. So what I would tell you is I've been to the emergency and I had a migraine. And if you're not Canadian, okay, you would have to open a file, first of all and you would have to pay up front a thousand dollars ridiculous i mean if you don't have a thousand dollars i don't know what to do <laughs> so then you would have to uh, wait eight to ten hours in the er they'll tell you what's the saying that they said you have time to die twice before we see you Wow. That, exactly. <laughs> that is insane. And if you ever notice the Canadians, when they need a big operation, when something happens, they come into the United States in many cases because their, their system is so slow. It's, it's catastrophic in certain ways. Now, the emergency room in the U.S. is not fast unless it's like super urgent, but 10 hours, that's a very long time. Yeah, that's exactly. on average. I've had many situations where I spent overnight sleeping on a chair in the waiting room because I was there with a sibling or a family member. Uh, it's just part of the system out here. So that's, that's for a hospital if you have an emergency. So out here, part of our day-to-day -day life, we pray that we don't need the ER because it, it gets dangerous because you, you have to sit there with your pain, with everything. I mean, they will uh, check if it's really crucial. Obviously, if you're near death, they're gonna take you right away, but anything else, make sure you have stuff to spend the night there waiting in the oh my waiting gosh, room. That's terrible. So that's for the ER. Now, our free healthcare covers also doctors, specialists, and all of that, but if ever, uh, for example, right now my doctor said, I'm gonna need to do a colonoscopy. I said, okay, oh, when should I? Uh, what should I expect the call for that? He's like, on average, six to eight months. Wow, six to eight months? Yeah. To eight months? That's crazy. <laughs> so, like for us? No, in the US, it's not like that. No, it's not. The latest Ontario health data shows the average wait time in ERs was 20 hours before the patient got a bed. No, it's not. They will write you a referral, go see a specialist, make an appointment, yeah. boom. So my mom needs uh, an eye specialist. I asked her, because uh, you know, us in the family, each sibling takes our mother to her appointment. So she said, if you could take me to the eye specialist. I said, no problem, when's your appointment? She's like, oh, it's in seven months. So whenever you need a specialist, it's seven not months. less than six months to, to, see, seats, to book an appointment with a specialist. <laughs> now, I've Man. had, so when we try to avoid the ER for uh, smaller issues, you want to go to a walk-in clinic. So that doesn't exist to us anymore. They still called walk-in clinic, but you can't just walk into a clinic. You have to book an appointment for an emergency. Yeah. And most of the time, it's full on the same day. So you got to yeah. wait for the next day. Or, so because it's free our sis our, our uh clinics and hospital all that are flooded with people whatever pain they have whatever mm -hmm. issue they have they just head mm -hmm. to, to to the doctor even a there. cut on a finger people go yeah and get checked because it's free and here in canada they provide quality health care to all people and i don't think there is any debate that the quality of care here is as good or better than in the united states and they do it for half the <laughs> but now that's the problem is that yeah it's they nice the system they, they mm -hmm. flood the system and now uh people with real emergencies have to wait forever to to 
get treated. So, but it's not even free. You're paying close to half your paycheck. Yes. Yeah, so that's the thing now. Um, having a wife from Texas, I've seen what the taxes are like here, and comparing them to to where we live in Montreal, uh, we pay two taxes, state and federal, and that comes depending how much you make in brackets. Too but much money. the least <laughs> amount of taxes you'll pay is about 35%, but on average, it reaches 50%. Wow. So even though healthcare is free, I'm giving away almost half of my paycheck every week for Detroit. this service. Exactly. Yet, that's the kind of service I get back. Is that Canadians aren't getting health care. It's, it's really as simple as that. Our emergency departments are overwhelmed. We've got people waiting sometimes, you know, 18, 24 hours to be seen. Elders sitting on gurneys for days waiting to be admitted to hospital. Now, when you do get service, how does that compare to the U.S.? Free service? Well, when I... we get treated. How do you get treated? Because, you know, American doctors are really good. You know, yeah. it's just... They're the best, you guys, the best, I'm telling you. No, I have to be honest, uh, we, <laughs> we do get good service, but I believe the best practitioners are in America yes. because they make more money there, they yes. have a better future here. Here they are paid by the government, so the pay is obviously way better in America, so I think that leads the best doctors and practitioners sure. to go to America. The, the, the issue we have in the U.S. is access, so you have to have insurance mm -hmm. so if you don't have a job or if you lose yeah. your job you lose your insurance yeah and it's very unfortunate yeah but as far as the service itself i think it's one of the best yeah i sure. do agree with that uh that in america i mean most people that don't have insurance don't have access yes and that's the benefit that we have here mm -hmm. is that every single person uh that is a citizen has has access yes any other con about canada There's so much construction here, you guys. <laughs> construction <laughs> bill. Petsy They'll have construction. Right here, Petsy Chicken. Thank you. Wow. What is that? Petsy Chicken. 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 Oh, nice. It's delicious, you guys. All right. Hey. And that looks like quite healthy there. Oh, yeah. Yes. Chicken with peanut sauce. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Some crispy spinach. Right on. Mm -hmm. And I'm having a salad, guys. Ooh. This is just a salad. Lettuce. <laughs> And tomatoes. Oh, that's really, really good. <laughs> and my chick drink, Cosmo. All right. So yeah, before we go ahead and end the video, if if there's anything else that's a con when it comes to Canada, uh, actually, you know what? I have a question because it's something I started exploring. Canada has a reputation of being nice, and I don't think it's true. But people say Canadians are nicer than Americans. Personally, I don't see the difference. Um, I actually think. Americans are nicer. That's just my experience. <laughs> Honestly, so, I think? think it's like they're equal in that. Yes. Um, because you know when you go to a restaurant, there the hospitality is really like like Southern hospitality is yeah. like wow, you know. Yeah. Here they're nice. They're welcoming. I don't know. I just feel like a positive vibe in Montreal. Like yeah. People are just very genuine positive and very like they're giving out like oh, they're really wanting you like you know like how many times have you heard welcome to montreal yeah you tell me none none what i, mean, I told you welcome to montreal what are you talking yeah, about? besides you like so you know and then i don't see like american like canadian flags everywhere here like americans have a lot of pride mm -hmm. yeah they have a lot country. of pride of their country that and is canadian true. is not so much like, I'm not saying they dislike the country, but they don't display the patriotism. But that's what I was mentioning earlier, that yeah. people in Canada kind of stick to their cultures and traditions. Yes. But in America, they adapt and they, they adapt with America and they become more patriotic. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. All right. So I, w I would say that the other con about Montreal is the construction. Like in, you know, America, <laughs> they will finish the construction within like one to two months. Here, it'll take like 10 years, you know, yeah. five to 10 years. and take forever but um once it's done it's so beautiful made you know yeah the art here the co like the buildings here are so nice and uh they really look into details um it's just, i feel like it's it has like art it, you have if you nice. have an artistic personality you're gonna have an artistic building you right. know? <laughs> oh nice how about uh, to conclude this fast food 
Yes. Is there That's a lot of good. them here? No, there's no fast. Uh, there's very, very little. So like maybe there's like a one KFC. KFC. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple McDonald's, maybe one or two Burger King. There was a Taco Bell, but they closed it down. You know, fast mm -hmm. foods are not popular here. So if you're look, if you're a fast food joint. Don't come to Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and eat now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Time. Thank you. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, cons about Canada. So it's not all peachy roses out here, you know. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if it's your first time. Press the like button, and you know, see you on the next video. From from Canada, have a good afternoon. <laughs>